All right, guys. So we got game number four here today between Hut and B in the Red Bull Woolaloo Legacy Road to Woolaloo July Finals. Man, I'm getting better at saying it every time I've got to fucking say it. So we've got B here in the blue trunks as the Rus, and Hut in the red trunks on the French. We're on high view today. I don't know if you're having as high of a view of the game as I am. <laughs> so, cabin. Can we get in that third scout for B? So we can get some good map control. It's a nice... Short rush distance map. I think both of these civs really relish the challenge on a map like this. Well, it looks like people are really playing around Delhi and uh, Abbasid at the moment on Dry Arabia. In favour of these, over, you know, in favour of these two because... Well, in favour of those two instead of these two because the... the Rus and French... Seem to really rely on the knight or knight horseman. Trying to go for the second TC behind it, whereas Abbasid sort of relies on third TC play. And Delhi, in a weird way, one TC and sacred aggression. So, yeah, in a weird way, slightly, a slight, ever so slightly longer rush distance. And the fact that there's less stealth forest just seems to favor Delhi and Abbasid at the moment more on Dry Arabia, while um, the go-to pick is either of these civs for uh, high view at the moment. So we're likely again to see night aggression from the French into some form of quick second town center while our Abbasid potentially can go for stables, try and out-harass or just try and out night fight if they can or even just go for the quicker second town center or yeah just try and go for spear bow so b's actually sort of got slightly too many workers here to gather so he's going to need to try and get one of these scouts back soon he probably should bring back this little fella here oh no, here we go he's got some more Sheep coming in hot, he desperately needs that because he's starting to get a little inefficient with his gathering there. The cabin on the way, and he's at 200 bounty gold, so he's got the gold he needs to actually age up, and he's just waiting on a little bit of food. But it is going to be sl ever so slightly later than it should be, because if he had a sheep there, he'd have been having that ninth villager just gather through all that. But 265 gold accumulated, he'll be able to make up for that with the fact that he's got that extra gather speed now and his golden gate coming in hot six villages on it compared to the three the four sorry on the school of cav Hunt. Just getting a bit of a read of B space, or at least attempting to. B does have that scout advantage. Risk players generally will. And B's even gone up to four scouts. One, two, three, four. Forget playing the three scout, Russ. He's gone all the way up to four. So he can possibly go for some aggressive tower gameplays here. We've only got the two for Hut, but this means Hut really can't go for any sort of Vil Harass. Not that there's really anything to Vil Harass of the Rus player at the moment. 
Ooh, he's bringing a lot of villagers. 12 vil move out here. So B's going to try and go for a double tower. Or does he just really, really want the boar that badly? He's going to bring 12 vils instead of the normal 8. There's already a knight here. So I guess this is the idea, is he wants to just get the surround on the knight. So Hut, gonna lose... Well, I was gonna say he's gonna lose a knight, but he's picking off a villager, and he's gonna manage to just keep the knight in tow, just to be a pest. Second knight now here for Hut. So the longer he can delay this, Better it goes for him, because B, it's a lot of idle villagers while this goes on. So B, in essence, even though he brought 12 villagers to try and get the surround off, it didn't quite work out for him. On top of that, he does drop a couple of villagers and lose a bit of um, gather time for his trouble, so he might have even been better off just bringing the usual 8 there, or just going, fuck it, and going for some sort of weird tower, but in saying that you can't really go for the tower if the French goes for the early knights, I guess. You sort of go go for the tower just as your age up's kicking in. So B's actually got awful lot of vills here on not a lot of sheep at home, and he's desperate to try and get on one of these hunts or to, yeah, try and get that boar if he can. Which now, because they fought on it, it's actually bugged and you can't see it on the minimap. Where the fuck has it gone? Meanwhile, it looks like Hut safe to take this other boar off his Rus opponent. So now it looks like B is gonna try and attempt the same, same shit, different day here. And we've got the boar. Over here, you can't see it on the minimap, so it's actually going to be a bit of a pain in the ass for our players. Just like it is for me. So here we go, Beast found it. He's going to try and kite it back towards a big clump of wood as far away from Hut as he can, but Hut, multiple knights now, though there is a couple of spears. So he's got to try and focus them down, singling out individual spears, and then... You can try and focus on the vills behind this. Looks like B has been able to get the boar in the midst of this, but he can't stick around. And the spear count's not quite enough for B to actually fend off Hut's four knights. Like, if he's got five or six spears, he can actually plow through the knights, but he just isn't able to get that critical mass where he can single them out. Meanwhile, the knights are doing a wonderful job at uh, focusing down individual spears there. So B, his food eco is significantly delayed here, even with such a good bounty accumulation. He's not able to get on the boar that he wants to. His opponent's stolen the other boar. He's not on either of his hunts because they're not particularly safe for him to get onto, particularly this one at the south side. It's only just south of the boar, so Hut is going to be able to keep a good eye on that. B's also got an eye in the stealth forest. Hut deciding he can go for a fairly aggressive yet also reasonably safe second TC here and actually deny his opponent from even getting that boar, which is somewhere in the midst, middle of this clump here. Man. I really fish, wish that boar icon bug would be fixed. It's a pain in the ass. Particularly for someone who mains Russ and French. Trust me, it is a pain in the ass. So Hut, some phenomenal micro here. He's bringing back the low knights, but looks like one gets surrounded there by B, so B's gonna pick him off. B losing a villain, a couple of spears for his troubles there, but he's able to 
propel hut, but it looks like hut's already double towered up here, so he'll be able to defend this even if B tries to siege it because he still has a couple of knights in tow. And with two towers there, he can get all eight bills garrisoned, focus the spears, then the villagers. So B's forced to aggressively gather with the town center right on Hut's doorstep. So it's become a really messy game now with our players both going for forward TCs. Oh, there's the ball right next to the town center. So Hut going to try and tower up right next to B's town center. I think he might be able to Get it. Meanwhile, he's going to sacrifice a knight or two here. But he can sort of afford to do so because he's microed so well into the spears so far. But it looks like this TC attempt, I mean, this, sorry, outpost attempt is going to get delayed, denied. Yeah, so he's going to have to cancel that. B. Now he's in a nice spot because he's can siege Hut's wood line. He's even going to go for a tower on it. So Hut can look at taking one of these other clumps of wood. There is only that one behind him. Though he is on this second town center and I don't think B yet knows about it. And now Hut. Charging into B's base with his knights, and he's going to get a couple of Vil kills for his trouble. So B, 34 and 17. Hut, 41 and 7. So B with a much bigger army because he's been mass producing these spears behind it. But Hut, the quickest second town center timing. And he's got both boars under control. He's forced his opponent to actually pinch one of his hunts while he's actually in proximity of one of his opponents. Things haven't been easy for B here, who's um, so brought back his spears. No, he's been trying to take out the woodline over here for Hut, but been a little bit unsuccessful. And in the meantime, his villagers on the run around. Picks off one of the knights. So, man. It's amazing watching these high-level scrappy games. They're just something else to witness. So Hut, gonna go for it again. And B only has a fairly minimal spear count to defend this. Oh no, here we go. Here's a big clump of them. So now B can really get his bang for his buck with the spears, but Hut is aware of what's going on. He's quick to get it the hell out of there. So it looks like Hut's really set up to go towards uh, Fortress Adrium here, actually. And he's going to pinch this other hunt of B. So Hut's actually restricted B to one hunt, and it's on his own doorstep. He's going to try and wall off. And he might actually catch a couple of these knights now. Oh, and B is going to get a good surround and pick off a couple of the knights. Two of them going down, so that's a little bit... Dangerous for Hut. Great for B, starting to put him back on the map in this game. Hut taking a guild hall, and in the meanwhile, locks up a lot of resources. While B is free to get a lot of military. He's walling up the bottom side of this map, so this is actually going to trap Hut. Or maybe not quite. Hut lives to fight another day. B, bit of indecision there. He should have just sort of half built all the walls there rather than worrying about getting them all finished and he could have trapped all those knights. Meanwhile, he is going for a raid with the spears. Going to get a vill for his troubles, but also going to lose a couple of the spears now. I'm going to try and get on this other hunt of huts all the way at the top of the map. In the meanwhile, hut taken age 3. It's managed to get the knights inside B's base once again. 
Picked off a couple more villagers there. So Hut 63 and 7. To B's 48 and 29. So B with an impressive military size, but his build count is just really taking a beating. All these spears. I'll lead straight past the towers. A few of them are going to fall as well. It'll be a little difficult for them to take out the towers. Well, the knights can just come in for one more charge, potentially here. B's actually walling in his topside hunt. And that cabin is actually in a great spot to generate a little bit of gold too. A third of a relic's value. These villes not quite able to get out of the town center, uh, out of the tower into the next one there. So. 51 and 24 to 60 and 10. That's Vil lead starting to shrink now. We've got a bit of a Vil melee down on the bottom of the map here, potentially. I think Hut's team outnumbers B's and Hut forces B to tap out. GG. In the meanwhile, we've got this going on over here and that's it. Hut manages to find the spot at the top and yeah, makes it in in time and B unable to get any secure food. Well played guys, it's game number four.